everybody, I'm back, and here's that review of Mazinger Z. Now, I'm not going to go through the box, so if you want to see the box, I suggest you click on one of the annotations somewhere in this screen here, and um, go see the unboxing of this figure, because I kind of go through everything with the box. So let me go and rip this thing open. Okay, I, stop. Take this thing out gently, and we'll go through everything. So... Be right back. I pulled out the first box, and yes, you get a box that actually has just the instructions. And, uh, and I think there's other things in it, um, but yeah, really awesome that they did this. One thing you do get is you get the face plate, and I'll get a nice close-up of that. So, these X Soul of Chugokin Mazinger Z. And uh, it comes with the double tape, so it comes with two pieces, so probably one right here and one right here. And uh, it's real metal. So. Uh, that's awesome. There we have a Mazinger Z booklet. Uh, this one, man, they give a lot of different booklets. So, <laughs> you get, this is what all comes with it. You know, and you get all the uh, specs on how to put armor on and everything and how to take it off and yada, 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 and it goes on and on and on. So that's one of them. And then we have this one, which has a whole bio. Now, this is really nice. So you got Mazinger Z, and um, it's just tons of bio. Now, I mean, if some of you can't, can't or if some of you cannot afford this, uh, great picture with Go Nagai and all the phrases that he says, which I think that's what they're pointing out. But um, yeah, they show even the schematics of like check that out. That is the schematics for when he's coming out of that war out of that pool. So where his base is and everything. So really awesome of all the stuff and even some older toys. So yeah, I wish I, I mean seriously, I could just do a video of just this and this actually I think, yeah, this was 1972. This was probably one of Go Nagai's first drawings of this, but awesome to have. Um, then we have the controls. So for the lights and sound, you know, they give you a little paper, show you how to use the remote and where to aim it at. And then, this was talked about. Um, I think Bandai America actually put this, kind of brought this up, but it was actually because, and I personally want to thank Collection DX for bringing this up to them, but they actually, regarding the um, Rocket Punch, it was because of Collection DX, um, because they had their hands on it first, they literally showed some things, and they... They got contacted uh, Josh B and literally said that they will add an English version so that everybody knows how you are supposed to put it in. So, thank you to Collection DX. This is the whole reason why I found Soul Chigokin was because of Collection DX. So, go give them some love. Go find them in CollectionDX.com. Um, this is the Scranda. And I ordered it, so it will be coming, and it's not coming until June, so you will see a review of that. And if I'm not mistaken, this is, yeah, Tamashi Nations. Yes, it is a manga. That's awesome, and it also sucks because of, I don't know Japanese, but I can look at the pictures. Yay! But I'm back with a second box. So as you can see, there is a... Mazinger's head. I mean, just look at the molded detail. The paint apps are just insanely sick. That is beyond craftsmanship. It is just a work of art in itself. Just amazing, flawless attention to detail. And then this is the half piece. As we can see. Let me get that up. As you can see, his face. And then as you see, we get the uh, solid 
and these are held by magnets so you get the solid ones and then these this one translucent red um, that has detail underneath so that's really awesome that, now these are all plastic but these are actually neck pieces because there's the half and then this is the other um, these are actually die cast, so you got die cast here. No, this is actually plastic. Down here is metal, so you got the metal here. So this is all metal. They're also um, plastic, so pretty awesome. And these are the fists that are actually articulated. So each finger is articulated. We have the thumb that is articulated from back and forth here. This is on a ball joint. We got this on like a hinge. Ball joint for the thumb. Um, we got two knuckles actually working here. So you got this. And just, just the positions you can do. Like you can really get the fist going and everything. So that's pretty cool. You can see it comes with this little truck, which nice molded detail, nice paint apps, very basic. The lights have actually a silver um, paint, black windows, and this actually is up here is the crane, and the crane is a soft rubber, like a soft rubber plastic. Um, and it moves so it goes swings in and out let me see if I can back up just a little bit there and it swings out and the arm does go up and I think it goes in no it does not go in and so it can go up and you can really bring it up or you can bring it all the way down and that's a really it has like a ratchet again with the yellow details this actually has an opening here so that's really cool. Same thing, it's that soft, rubbery plastic. So, really cool. And that's your basic there. Um, this is actually a um, something that goes on to the uh, kit, the, ah, uh, oh, now I forget the damn name, the uh, hangers. This is your control. And as I said, you got metal content here, metal content here. All the rest is plastic. And so this is the Pioneer. And as you can see, it has a painted figure of the operator. I forget his name because I haven't watched the anime in like forever. Actually, I own the whole entire seasons. Uh, great paint apps from the lights. I mean, they are so tiny. Those little, little, what is it, gold? Or are they silver? No, they're actually gold. So the four that are in front here. Come on. The four that are in front here are actually gold, and then these two are silver. And just awesome. And he does do the whole transformation to fit in uh, the head. And I mean, just look at just him. The paint apps on him are really awesome. Just wow. So anyway, we're just going to go through these real quick. So you got the arm, full armor piece, which is plastic, of Mazinger Z's face. Uh, the neck piece is plastic. This is metal. I think, no, that's, that's plastic. Um, this is plastic. Plastic. So all this is plastic. Metal. So it looks like that all the black is is metal, and all the um, well, not all the black. These two pieces are. Look at the details in these hands. So I mean, phew, that is awesome. I mean, the sculpting is just awesome. From they look like real springs that actually are going to work. That's how awesome this is. Wow, oh wow, oh wow. Just amazing. Totally amazing. Excellent job, Bandai. I really have to give it to you. But these are awesome.
Um, these are metal. So these are the two gray pieces. There's a gray piece here. So let me back this up. So what we got here is metal, metal. These two are metal. Big, hunky metal. So we got metal, metal. Holy crap, I'm missing a foot. Holy crap, I am missing a foot. I'm missing a foot. I can't believe this. I'm missing a foot. There is a foot missing. Oh, you're kidding me. Take this in for a little bit. The missing foot! I just got trash in my hand. The missing foot. <laughs> it deserves to be on a pedestal. So anyway, yes, I, I've returned, I've gotten my foot back, so you know, we're gonna take that out of the way because it, it got its moment. So this, you stay you stay in here from now on. You go back in that box and you stay there until I tell you to come out. And there we go. So, let's get on with this review after two weeks of a nightmare. I've heard about a, <clears throat> about a, a bunch of problems that uh, Mazinger Z DX was having with uh, some pain issues and chipped paint and such, but luckily I just had a piece missing. So this is the Mazinger Z the Zeta. But I just have to say this. It's a fucking beautiful beast. Um this is the one major problem, these things. Alright, so I'll show you now so we why he's you know completely exposed. But Here's the real simple thing, all right? First off, you got these little notches, all right? There's three of them. You can see them from the top. One, two, and three. And then underneath here, you got this small little hose. If you push the hose in, it pops the head up. See, we'll push it down, push it up, boom. So what you need to do is in the English translation to it and I'll just bring this up just a little bit and forward it here so what you need to do is you need to line these notches up with this this and this so there are little indentations now the best bet to do this is have him standing and do it this way because it is flimsy and then you hear that click, and voila. But here's the problem. Okay, um, I made a boo-boo, and that's usually normal. I know you're in the middle of watching this video, or in the beginning. Um, when you put these arms on, 
you are not supposed to turn them at their um, forearm. You are supposed to turn them up at the bicep. It even expresses it in the instructions as a jackass. I totally did not really look at them, which I should have. Um, it tells you don't grab by the forearm. So you do not want to turn at the forearm. You want to turn at the bicep. Just a quick thing just to let everybody know. Now, go back to the video. Ignore what I say after this. Um, and that's it. If you're going to move the arm around, he will, at points, the arm will just pop off. So, I mean, it's something, if you're going to get this, like many have said, it is a display piece. This is not a figure you're going to play with every day. You're, you're going to keep it in the display, and that's about it. So, getting on with the details. Just amazing like I, I just the colors are just insane from the waist missile that's up here you know I mean just wow I wish this would would have fired out but they didn't do that this is as I said a display piece this is not a gimmicky piece um, besides the sound and and uh, lights uh, just I mean, just wow, from everything that you can just see. It's an exquisite piece. I'm definitely going to have this. Um, it's definitely going to be done in the half style, down to the missiles. That is just wicked. So, yeah, really extravagant piece. I mean, even down to... The foil, or, yeah, I think it's called foil, but they, they put a foil band on this, like, just insane. Um, for articulation, like I said, um, you have the head that's on kind of like a ball joint, it looks up. It, it's kind of weird, you look at it, it's like, there's two pins here, so there's two pins here, and... You can actually move it up and down. It does rotate. So it's kind of on a rotation thing. And he even looks up just the head part here. But this also moves. This little, like, uh, what would you call it? Like collarbone kind of like moves up and down. So that's really cool. Um, you have the, the beautiful like, sounding ratchet joints in the upper arm. Back and forth. Uh, you have a swir uh, a rotation here, for, so for 360, you have um, up and down, and as I said, this pops off, so it will pop off. You have the rotation, we'll just go to this one, you have the rotation in this, so it's double rotated down here and here, so you can rotate it here, or you can rotate it down here. I would be extremely careful, because like I said, it's going to pop off, and it's going to get you frustrated. Um, it bends right at the elbow. Well, as I said, it falls off. So we got that right here. So, and then, uh, you actually do get a waist. I think you do. Yeah. So you got a waist so he can turn the waist really tight. Um, you have in and out motion. You have forward which is really heavy ratchet joint. And then you have rotation down here. So, oh, and there's more, more gold foiling right there. So, you got this rotation. Um, nice heavy ratchet there. And then you have rotation down here. So it pivots forward and back. Not too much forward, it stops right here, but it does go down. And then you got the pivoting on the side, which that moves the pistons even down to the jets. This part right here, this chest part, actually comes right out. So you get a good grip on it. Pops right out. And this is where you will put your batteries. Okay, so we're going to do this real quick. I'm going to do it right now in front of camera so you guys know. I'm trying different 
positions for me so that everything works out nicely. fucking huge hanger that is included with DX Mazinger Z. Um, really nice. Uh, it has uh, molded detail. If you can see the steel plates with the rivets in it all over the entire um, hanger, so on the outside. And as you'll see, I'll open it up real quick, which this thing does get a little, it's tight, so... Um, as you can see, you have all of your junction points for all the pieces of armor um, via these uh, little um, like square things right here. So I'll bring this up, but you can see them down here. So you're going to have the uh, pieces like all in here. So and there's they go all the way up this wall, uh, the back side, if you want to say. Um, on top of it. You also, we'll start over here, so we have the leg that actually comes down. So this swings down and locks in. So for added stability, um, we also have the lights. And they work just like this. And I'll show these in the dark so that you get a, you guys get a really idea of how strong they are and you can see just by the back of the uh, hanger. Um, the other thing is real quick um, the one crane attaches right here so that's what that hole was for the back and finally we have that one plastic piece so this plastic piece goes into the back uh, it's a uh, girder or uh, yeah, you would say a girder. This girder goes in and will pin in the back of the other girder to basically hold him on nice and tight. So very awesome, very cool. Cool little display area for Mazinger Z DX. There you go. Okay, so anyway, if you guys own or you go out and you purchase those... Um, Ikea display cases, I want you guys to know, I have not seen nobody say this, but you're going to either, one, have to buy a bigger display case because you don't have no problem putting it in. But forget about opening it up. So there is just no room whatsoever on the sides. I mean, the farthest you can get this thing to open is that. I mean, if you're okay with that, you're still going to be able to see Mazinger Z in the back, especially if you keep these lights on. But seriously, go to Home Depot, go to Lowe's, get yourself some plexiglass and learn how to build a display case that will fit the size of this. So the first things first... Um, that little red button that's right here, so in the center, that one right there, push that and you hear this. I'll do these again with the lights off so you guys can see them.
And then we got two. And three. And then it has one in three here, so let's see what that does. Well, that shuts it off. Okay, cool. Alright, and then we'll do the best of fire. That is pretty cool. Now, I, I got him just to a point where he looks at the light. Actually, the one light, you can see the more of the top. And you can adjust these any way you want. Like, I mean, you can bring it over more to here. And you can just have him any possible way. They move up and down. Just, <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, so it's time for some comparisons. Um, this one version of Mazinger Z that I got was a model type. Uh, it was a snap together. It was a Mazinger Z extra heavy version of this one. So I have that when my son was born. So I built that when he was born. And that is the size comparison to the DX. Huge. Completely towers him. Daddy! I am going to show you a comparison to a G1. This is a reissue of Soundwave. It's uh, the Toys R Us exclusive Soundwave. So, um, there's a comparison of that. You know, as I said, towers him. Okay, so I have a request from someone. Uh, actually, his name, and I only have his Twitter name. I apologize to you in advance that I don't know um, what your YouTube, uh, YouTube username is. So I got this from Grim underscore Phantom. The question he asked was, when will we see the Amazing Review? And any chance for a size comparison with MPTF? I would really like to see that. And you, sir, will get your request uh, right this second. Um, first things first, though, I just want to let anybody know, everybody to know, if you have a, uh, any kind of um, request or question on a certain figure, um, please don't hesitate to contact me through Twitter, um, contact me through my Facebook page, or here on YouTube. Um, any of those mediums... I will be glad to answer your question and accommodate what I can uh, do my best to accommodate your question or whatever. So, the one thing was he did, didn't did ask for a specific uh, masterpiece. Um, sadly, I only own two. Uh, I did own uh, uh, Rodimus Prime. Um, not the car version, the American version. And, uh, he's in parts now. Uh, lots of spare parts. So, yeah, he uh, took a dive off my uh, highest shelf that I had um, before I started buying display cases. So, yeah, it was a nightmare. So, anyway, um, so what I'll do is I'm going to show MP13 Soundwave. And this is the car version. And as you can see, completely towers. Um, Mazinger Z completely towers Soundwave. And for a second one, the only second one that I have of MP, one of my favorite, Thundercracker. Again, Mazinger Z towers most, um, well, the ones that I own, towers the masterpiece. Uh, this is the Toys R Us one, this is the Takara one. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Uh, thank you again very much for your uh, question and your request. Um, to Grim 
underscore phantom on Twitter. Thank you very much. Uh, so yeah, like I said before, if you have any request or question about a certain figure, I'll do my best to accommodate that question to give you a proper answer. So, real quick, I wanted to just get have a real fun, a little bit of fun here because we did show this one, which was the uh, heavy duty uh, model from Bondi. So I'm going to do a fast size comparison of the pilers. So there you go. Big. This one's big and much more detailed. This one. It's chromed out. And that's about it. So, there you go. So what can I say about the Mazinger Z DX Soul Chagokin? It's fucking awesome. For my final thoughts on this thing. Besides Bandai fucking up with not packaging my fucking right foot armor. But, again, BBTS.com, you guys fucking rock. Thank you so much for all the great work that you guys did. Their customer service is extraordinary. And, I, and they give a damn. So I like a company that does that. To pick Mazinger Z was a no-brainer to start this DX series. I can't wait to see what we're going to get in the future. <clears throat> but I'm hoping that, you know, can you imagine Ray Dean or Grendizier or uh, Get a Robo? Uh, there's so many that we could be seeing in a DX outlook in the series. And it's awesome. The engineering to this figure, to the flawless paint um, app applications, it's just a hell of a beautiful figure. To the chrome pieces, there's gold uh, chrome pieces all over, in certain parts. It is just an amazing figure. And if you can afford the $400, go for it. But I'm not the final decision maker. You are. So if you love Mazinger Z, if you love Soul Chigokin, get it. If you don't, then this is kind of a pass for you. But it's an ultimate figure for your collection. That's all I got to say. That's all I can say. Because this right now is probably the be one of the most favorite figures in my collection. Hands down. With the hangar and the jet scrambler coming in June... This is going to be a, completely so awesome. I mean, I love everything about it. I love the lights and sound. Everything was done right. So, get this thing if you can afford it. As always, this has been Japanophile Rob. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you on the flip side. Cha! Mazinger Z!